Welcome to Fertility Talk with Olarion Ketadios. On today's episode, we'll be talking about an ovulation. What is an ovulation? An ovulation is lack of ovulation. You know, sometimes ago, I met someone and she said, I've not been ovulating. And my next question to her was, how did you know? And she responded, I just know. I just know I'm not ovulating. You know, and I was like, uh, no, you can't, you can't be a magician. You sh when you're not ovulating, there are some symptoms uh, that you would know, you will see. And when you're ovulating also, there are symptoms, okay? From experience, I discovered that women who are underweight or overweight suffer from um, an ovulation. They don't ovulate, okay? From experience also, I also discovered that um, women who, who, who do vigorous exercise don't ovulate. So before you hit that gym and start that vigorous uh, gym procedure, then please, um, you should take note that too much of, too much of it um, might mess up with your ovulation, okay? I also discovered that women with stress-filled life suffers from an ovulation okay so we must just strike a balance okay we must not be too weighty or on the weight or do too much exercise or stress ourselves we just have to strike a balance okay and the truth of the matter is that even our hormones function that way they, what they do what our hormone do monthly is to strike a balance okay so if it is too high if it is too low yes it has a way of messing up things um, for ourselves okay uh, you just discover that um, you know you're not menstruating you know maybe high prolactin high estrogen high this high that you know so it has a way all of these hormones the rise and falls you know if you, our hormones our hormones are not balanced yes it has a way of really truly messing up with um with our ovulation okay so so that brings me to some of the symptoms um you will see if you're ovulating okay the first on the list is mucus. Your vagina will produce some mucus discharge if you're ovulating. So about your, your mid-cycle, you start seeing that those discharge, those whitish discharge, okay, they are slimy. Yes, at a point during your ovulation, it becomes thinner. And you know, that, that point is like the peak of your, of your ovulation, okay? So you might want to wash out during your mid cycle for, for that, you know? Um, there's nothing bad in, check, in checking your pants from time to time to see if you have this church, okay? So that's number one symptoms to tell you that you are ovulating. Number two is that about your mid cycle, um, you will have body temperature. You just observe that your body temperature has increased. You know, you, wanna, you, you, you might wanna think you have a fever, Yes, yes, it could just be that. If so if you if you check your calendar and you see that yes, it's, it's your mid cycle, then yes, you are ovulating. Okay. And uh, number three on my list is that um, to know that you are ovulating, you must have a regular menstrual flow. Yes, the normal regular menstrual period would range between twenty eight to thirty five day cycle. So if your period is regular, then yes, very likely you would ovulate okay and if you have an irregular menstrual flow what it does is, is that you might not be able to predict when you would ovulate and that and that would mean that before you will know what when you ovulate you need to do some work and this might entail you um, visiting a chemist to buy or a pharmacy to buy um, a, 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 an, an ovulator predictor, okay? And um, worst case scenario, you might need to visit um, a hospital to check to do a transvaginal scan. So they will have a, the doctor will have a look at your ovaries to know if you're ovulating. And if you're hoping or looking for a place to do this, you can also send me a message, you can comment, so it will help you to look at your ovaries and see what is happening there, okay? Yeah, so um, 
Also, we, you, you might experience ovulation in one month and you know, in, in another month you might not see it, you might not experience ovulation, okay? Um, it's okay, it's all good, but, the, but when, when the problem lies is if um, for a very long time you don't ovulate, then yes, you, you have a very good reason to be worried, okay? Because without ovulation, then you can't get pregnant. Ovulation simply is the release of an egg from your ovary. So if, if there is no egg release, then there is no way uh, pregnancy would occur, okay? Yeah, so, um, so the next topic, which is um, what could mess up with your ovulation, okay? What could tr truly go wrong with your ovulation? There are some of some there are some things we do as a woman that could really mess us up, could mess our ovulation up. One of the factor is um, if you if you use too much herbs, okay, some herbs has a way of um, you know interfering with our ovulation. So I would advise that before you take that herbs, please um, look at the content and share with your doctor and hear his opinion. Uh, about about the herb before you you take it and you you should be careful truly of some herbs that uh, that are like a uh, like omnipotent kind of herbs you know herbs that can cure everything all these things all these things has a way of messing up with your ovulation so you should be careful about that okay so another thing that could truly mess up with your ovulation is if you have polycystic ovarian syndrome, PCOS. PCOS um, has a way of, of compiling things for women. Um, with PCOS, you have hormonal imbalances because there is high insulin, there is high testosterone, and you know, all these things, all these well, all these hormones will keep messing you up, you know, and you know, they will even throw you into false pregnancies. Sometimes you will think you're pregnant and you see PCOS women saying, oh, I'm having miscarriage. And the truth is that they've never even gotten pregnant. And yet they are talking about having miscarriage. You know, that is, that's, that is, that is one thing about uh, having polycystic ovarian syndrome. Okay. And uh, to know if you have this, this is going to be another major topic. Watch out for it. But um, just know that PCOS also is one of um, the is one of the major reason for an ovulation for not ovulating at all. Also, another thing that could mess up with your ovulation is if you are if you are having um, chemotherapy, if you if you if you are on cancer treatment um, and you are exposed to chemo, to radiation and stuff like that. Yes, it has a way of um, of, of damaging um, your ovaries and um, that is the truth okay also if you are on some epileptic drugs okay if you have a uh, cirrhosis um, yes it could also um, mess up with your with your ovulation okay also some non steroidal acting inflammatory drugs yes could really truly mess up your uh, ovulation okay uh, you don't just go to the counter and buy all this painkiller um, ibuprofen, uh, aspirin, easy on them, okay, easy on them. Um, studies have shown that if you if you're on them for so long, then yes, it has a way of um, making you not to to ovulate, okay. You might also want to be careful of some of the creams you're using to rub your on your body. Yes, yeah. as little as the cream you use matter as a woman. So you have to be careful, even before you take that steroid injection. Yes, I know a lot of women want to look very young, keep looking young. Yeah, if you want to still get pregnant, you need to be careful of, of any injection, any steroid you take, okay? So, because all these have a way of truly messing up with our ovulation, okay? Thank you for watching this episode of Fertility Talk with Olaron Care Tadios. If you have any fertility inquiries, kindly comment below. And if you want a personal consultation with me, also you could book your appointment by calling the number on the screen. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can also follow us on Instagram. Thank you for watching. Hello.